Today, I'm going to be making a bridge from the KSC to the island with the airfield on. But Heroics, how is this even possible? Trust me, everything should work out. The KSP is 30 kilometers from the island. And if you're from my SFS audience, that is the distance to the Carmen line. But anyway, how are we going to manage this project in the first place? Well, boy, do I have a plan for you. According to Stratton Blitz, in a video where he crosses the Drez Canyon, he demonstrates that there's a 200 meter physics range. Anything outside of that range and physics is not present, which makes the craft a rigid structure. The moment you move within that 200 meter range, however, the physics is applied to the structure and the structure will just fall apart. To fix this problem, say we have a normal bridge. It's going to be impossible to cross the bridge without the physics affecting it. As demonstrated in his video, if we move the root part 200 meters above the surface of the bridge, we can freely cross it with rovers or vehicles without the physics breaking the bridge. Okay, I have to admit, during the recording of this video, I couldn't get the mechanics that I just mentioned to work in-game. But no worries, I make it all work out in the end anyways. I initially tried to make a giant L shape to see if I could replicate the physics mechanic using a root part at 200 meters tall. But the issue was that I had no idea how Blitz was able to keep the structure from collapsing when the structure was spawned in game. I didn't know what he was doing, so my Ooga Booga brain said, you know what, we don't need this, this isn't working, so let's make it 200 and a little bit meters wide, and we can stack the parts horizontally without the physics getting messed up. We don't need to drive across it, and we can just end the video right there, right? Uh oh, red flag, bad idea, didn't work, here's two hours of pain. <laughs> what? Cool. Now it's glitching out. <sighs> you can just freaking flag, flag again? You're kidding me. Okay. What is going on? Bro, why? Okay, so clearly the method I was using wasn't working. There was one thing I did realize, and that was the mod that I was using to move the vessels around only freaked out when there was a building under it or if it was above sloped land. However, it didn't freak out when it was above water. So I just decided to build it on the water. At first, I continued using the 200 meter length sections, which I later ditched for sections that were slightly less than 2,000 meters. So there's not an excessive amount of crafts loaded while I'm moving the sections. Now, I should probably address the elephant in the room. Yes, I am definitely using mods to make this bridge and that is because I'm a full-time college student and I really don't want to spend hours after hours placing each individual section manually using a custom RCS system. Alright I feel like I've done enough talking and now it's time for the time lapse where I make the entire bridge from the KSC to the island and if you've made it this far this is what you've been waiting for. We finally completed the construction of the bridge from the KSC to the island, and now you're probably thinking, Heroics, before you end the video, can you please drive across it? And to that, I say, absolutely not. My game was running at 5 FPS pretty much the entire time I was making the bridge, and by now I don't want anything to do with it. I can make a short, maybe of it, of me driving across it? I don't know, but that's all for me. Make sure you guys check out my other videos. Make sure you guys subscribe. This took an absolutely long time to make, and that's all I gotta say. So make sure you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Peace.